Today, we're going to talk about some more shielding. So let's talk about this equation to the right. What is this? Define all of the terms. How do we use it? How much thickness is needed to shield a high energy elect or linear accelerator? And then explain what the two source rule is. So right here, we see the B, that means that this is a, a, a barrier transmission factor, and this is for leakage. So typically this is designated by EBL. So that's just a factor for leakage. And so now let's determine all, define all the terms. So we have 1000. Now, thankfully this clues us in immediately that we know this is a leakage. And the reason we know a thousand and that really helps us is because the reason this number is a thousand is because linear accelerators are required to attenuate the head leakage to 0.1% of the primary beam. So that's why we have a thousand in here. And so if you see a thousand, you know immediately that is leakage. And now you know why that is leakage. Here we have our permissible dose rate, just like all of our other shielding calcs. D sec right here is the distance from isocenter to 0.3 meters beyond the barrier. Always remember that it is 0.3 meters beyond. And of course that is squared. W we have is our workload and T is our occupancy factor. Also note for head leakage, we do not have a use factor because the head leakage is coming from essentially almost isotropic. So you do not have a use factor in this equation. So now how do we use this? So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to calculate this. Maybe I can write this down. So we're going to calculate the transmission factor for leakage. Then we're going to calculate the transmission factor for the patient scatter. I'm just gonna put PS there. And then you are gonna combine these using the two source rule. So to find, and that ultimately is finding the secondary barrier. So the whole point of this is to find a secondary barrier. This doesn't have anything to do with primary barrier, but a secondary barrier. So when you take these two, you do the two source rule, two SR, that's what that stands for. And that is how we are going to get our secondary barrier thickness. So again, we need scatter and leakage. Combine those in the two source rule. That is how we're going to find our secondary barrier. So ultimately, here what we are going to do, find B. We're going to find BL. We're going to plug all the numbers in to actually find the number for that transmission factor. We are then going to use the formula N is equal to negative log B. And that is going to ultimately move us toward the ability to find that our thickness is equal to TVL1 plus N minus one TVLE. So that's the equivalent 10th value layer. And TVL1 is the first 10th value layer. And those can be different. And so you just simply look those up. Uh, all of the NCRPs have good descriptors and tables and things to look those up. So now let's kind of move over to question five here. Explain what the two source role is. So if you have two different sources like the scatter and leakage, we're finding the secondary barrier thickness. To compute the TVLs that are needed, you find the TVL necessary for each source. And if that differs by more than one TVL, use the larger TVL. But if they don't, then you add another HVL to the largest TVL. So let me kind of write that down. Hopefully you've seen this before. Uh, if so, you can just click off and move on to the next video. If not, let's explain this. So for example, we've got our, our leakage and this is going to be a leakage thickness and our scatter thickness. And we're trying to find, again, we're trying to find our secondary barrier. So if both of you do, you do this equation, you find T, you find what the thickness is for each one of these. 
So let's do TL and TS. That stands for the thickness of leakage and the thickness of scatter. And so say when you look at these two, if they differ by more than one TVL, I'm going to make up, I'm just going to pull numbers out of thin air. Please do not think that these are real numbers because I don't know. I'm literally making them up. So say that one TVL is 10 cm. And the scatter here, let's say that is 55 cm. And let's say the leakage is something like uh, 38 cm. Well, the difference in thickness between these two is more than 10 cm. So you can pick this thickness for the scatter thickness because that is going to incorporate and be strong enough to shield both the scatter and the leakage. So that's case one. The other option is if the thickness of the leakage, say, is 50, and then the thickness of the scatter is 55 cm. Well, now they are only 5 cm different. The TVL is 10 cm. So now what we need to do is take the highest that we have. So we're going to do 55 cm, and we're going to add one HVL to that. And then that will incorporate and be strong enough to shield for both leakage and scatter. So know the, the equation displayed here, know how to calculate these uh, transmission factors, and then what the two source rule is. If you have any questions, comment below. Best of luck and happy studying.